Over the years, our family's had a share of health problems. So prescriptions are a part of our life. Before we went to the big box store. We both thought it would help us save. But with the long lines and impersonal service, filling prescriptions became a chore. That's when a friend recommended DNH. Now Tristan knows our prescriptions. Brenda always helps us find the right vitamins. And after Dad's fall, Monica's been a real expert with all our home medical needs, all without the lines. Trust and service. That's our DNH. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, December the 12th. We've got Andrea Shelton with us and we have a shepherd that we're going to meet in just a, just a couple of minutes. Andrea Shelton, City of Columbia. Today we're going to talk about using less stuff during the holidays, yes. right? Yes. And uh, one of the big things that you told me years ago, years ago when you yes. go to a holiday party, or if you have a holiday party, uh -huh. and you don't have enough dishes to use, tell your guests to bring their own dishes well, so you, you don't use paper plates. Right. Put it, I mean, to put a better spin on it. We just, we don't want you to use styrofoam. If you use paper products, of course, you know, we want you to use something compostable so you can compost them later. Mm -hmm. But you can rent dishes. We just ask you to You can use rent the, dishes? Yeah, you can rent dishes. Well, it'd be better just to ask the guests to bring their ask own dishes. Ask the guests. I mean, normally your guests are people that are you're close with. So right. you can ask them ahead of time if you can borrow some of their real china. I actually spoke with one of your guests in the green room, and they do that. They do that? Yep. They, <laughs> they ask people for yeah. their china. Yeah, they yeah. do. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's one way to keep items out of the landfill mm -hmm. is use real dishes mm -hmm. and real cutlery and, instead of plastic. Yes, and real napkins. And real napkins. Mm -hmm. Oh, I use real napkins all the time. Right. Uh, instead of the paper napkins. Yeah, I was just at Shakespeare's the other day and they use shop towels. And they're like these towels that people would normally use at um, a body shop, but uh -huh. well, they use them for napkins oh, when they nice. do when they do catering. I just think that's a cool idea. <laughs> okay. I mean, they're not from the shop, but they're from... <laughs> right. I understand, and they've been washed. Yeah, they've been they don't washed. have grease they're all new, over. They're new. Yeah. Uh, what's what's another? Oh. Wrapping the, uh, I don't want to give all these ideas away well, myself. Well, okay, when we're talking about holiday meals, we've talked about use, you know, the real stuff, use yeah. real china. But really be careful about your holiday meal planning, your recipes. People, 40% of food that you purchase is going to be thrown away. 40%, that's the average, is going to be thrown away. So we're saying... Are you only, talking about for holiday parties or just in general? For holiday parties. Okay. So 40% is going to be thrown away. So just be careful about the number of guests that you have. Plan to feed that number of guests. Don't overcook. Don't overmake. Don't make okay, so, so much. Okay, so you don't have to. You don't have to make so much food that you're trying to put on a big display, and you're not going to have all of the people eat it. We can still have the big display, just the smaller portions of the big display. Okay, and they instead of throwing it away. Let people take it home with them. Let people take it home to with them and also call some of your local shelters like the St. Francis House or something, or Fishes and Loaves, and they may be able, if it's, you know, not something that's been used, to, to take it off your hands. Okay. So that's really, that's a good idea. We got less than a minute here. What oh, gosh. That? One of the good ones, of course, we always talk about the gift wrapping. There are just so many ways you can wrap gifts, but also gift giving. You know, we even wrap the gifts in newspaper, recycled print. One of your other guests told me that she has a special thing that she does for her grandson. She just wraps it in plain, um, a plain paper bag, but she does this piece of art for him on it every year. Yeah. And it's reusable, but he, she keeps it. And then also give gifts of experience. Don't give things. Try to give tickets to a ball game for you and someone or for someone and a friend. Um, gifts to a con tickets to a concert. Those types of gifts. Give gifts of experience instead of stuff. Give gifts of your time. Of your time. Gifts give of gifts your time. of your time. Mm -hmm. uh, give a gift to someone and say, I'll come over and I'll, I'll clean your house yeah. for you or I'll cut your lawn this summer. Correct. I'll shovel your sidewalk. Something, you know, something yeah. like that. And you can wrap people... that up in... in, mm -hmm. in uh, Use newspaper right. from the Sunday <laughs> exactly. comic, or if you're really cheap like I am, you save the wrapping paper from the year yeah. before and the year before, and the ribbons. I save all the ribbons yeah. too. Yeah, and if it's something, if you have to give a gift, give something that a person needs. Okay, all right, okay. Andrea, thank you so much it's for coming so nice by. To be here. City of Columbia Recycling News, always a pleasure to have you here. And you have a merry Christmas, and you too. Okay. And we'll see you in 2014. Okay, thank you. Now we turn to Andy Upham. And Andy is with uh, Fairview United Methodist Church, right? Correct. 
And you are dressed as a shepherd today. Mostly if you want dressed to, as a shepherd. Yeah, left, you don't left have the hat off for the inside. The, the hat piece isn't here. It's a little warm in here for that. Uh, but you're here to talk about Little Bethlehem that the church is doing. Right. It's the interactive experience where you come to the church. The shepherds will meet you in the parking lot. You actually get to walk into town if, if they're explaining to you all about seeing the angels out there in the field. And, and they're on this journey trying to find the Christ child that they just heard about. And it's, it's a great experience to actually just walk with them and kind of go through. You meet townspeople, you meet the innkeeper who still has no room at the end, doesn't know anything about this child being born other than, you know, he sent a, a pregnant lady down to the stable. Uh, you get to go experience that. We speed things up a little bit. We get the wise guys, or as we call them, the, the, the wise guys. The, the wise guys. They, they come in and, and have their gifts giving. Uh, following that, there's, there's a, an exciting time, maybe an angel will appear uh, while you're in the uh, manger there with the, the Christ child. Uh, come out of there. Can you meet Mary and Joseph too? Mary and Joseph sitting there in the, in the stable and, and uh, you're able to hear them talk back and forth with the, um, the kings and, and you have a little time afterwards with a shepherd who kind of wraps it all up and talks a little bit about how this experience. But So you're doing this all on a very individual basis with people. Very. We take small groups. We, we try to keep them around you know, 10 to 12. We've had a few big ones going around like at 20. Hard to hear when you're in the back. So if you end up getting there and there's a large group, you might hang back and, and find another shepherd to go through or at least try to get close. So to the here. shepherd is escorting you through shepherd is, is all telling of the, the story stages. throughout the entire time. If you go to the uh, www.frontyardchurch.org, you can actually see an experience. We videotape one of the experiences, get a feel for it. If you want to talk to the kids about going, uh, let them see what they're going to experience beforehand and come on out and enjoy it. It's, so it's, how, how long does the whole procedure take? About 12 minutes. If, if you start from the parking lot and start going down, it's about a 12-minute experience. So. And when, when are you doing this? All right, we're starting uh, tomorrow night. We'll be there at 7 o'clock. Friday? You're starting on Friday? Friday night. December, it's, oh boy, it's, it's Friday the 13th. <laughs> yeah, it is Friday, Friday the 13th. I, I didn't realize that, so you're starting Friday, December 13th. Right, and we're going to start at 7 o'clock this year. We usually start a little earlier, but we find it's really hard for everybody, including the cast, to get there. So we're going to start and go from 7 to 8.30 Friday night. On Saturday and Sunday, we'll be going from... I believe it's at 6 to 8.30. And once you get inside, there's Christmas caroling, there's uh, cookies, there's all kinds now, of things. Now, is this singing. inside or outside? We're going to be all outside on the set, and then you actually get to go inside and, and warm up a little bit. There'll be, uh, like I say, cookies. There'll be diff okay. a whole other and experience on the inside just of... What happens if you have inclement weather? We go anyways. The only okay. time we've... St in the last 23 some odd years, I think we've stopped two nights due to ice. Okay. Uh, snow won't stop us. Rain won't stop us. So bring umbrellas. Uh, bring the clothing. Okay. I, I, it's interesting to see some of the kids come through in their shorts and t-shirts, and it's you know 20 degrees and the wind's blowing 30. <laughs> okay. So dress so, dress appropriately or expect to be cold. It starts tomorrow and it runs Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Only one weekend. Only one weekend. Okay. Fairview United Methodist Church, and you're located where? Right next to the fire station on Chapel Hill Road. Okay. Thank you very much, Andy. Thank you. One of the good shepherds for coming by today. Uh, tomorrow, we've got a special performance from Home for Christmas. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Zach Haywood. And our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.